Hello, I'm Vincenzo Noletto and today we are going to try the new Leica SL3. I had the SL3 two weeks before the official launch uh, and um, I was able to try its uh, uh, pre-production model in Istanbul and I'm sure that uh, Andrea will show us uh, the picture that I took there. And I, I was also in Milan on the official launch uh, with Leica Italia. Today we are in Naples and so we are gonna shoot with the 35mm APO uh, and the SL3 through the street. So let's go to take some pictures. There's a new gear and you can use it for a lot of stuff. Uh, standard, it comes with the ISO settings, but uh, you can use the settings that you want. Uh, and it's easy to, to switch from a setting to another. Now, if you want to bump up the ISO, you can use just the gear. And so without leaving the eye from your, the eye cup, you can choose the ISO from this new gear. The new SL3. <laughs> so now uh, the, the SL3 is smaller and less heavier than uh, less heavy than, uh, than the SL2 and, and SL2S. And it's strange that with the, uh, a smaller body now the weight of the biggest the bigger uh, the biggest lenses of the SL system now are more balanced in, in the ends. So I know that now I'm not invisible in the street, but it's easy to carry in, even in situations like this. I used to be a 35 mm shooter in the street. Now I move from 35 millimeters to 28 millimeters field of view. But I have to say for a lot of stuff, I prefer the, the 35 millimeters. Mi piaceva questo fatto che stai giocando con le mani loro. I have to look to someone that is a bit distracted. Got it. There's a new autofocus in the camera and even for the most fast movement, the, the new autofocus, it's reliable, fast and precise. Like the Q3, but now on interchangeable lenses. There's a lot of the reviewers that talked about the technical stuff about the camera, but no one did a picture with that in the real world. So I'm glad that now 
I can show you how it's working in the real world. We are not talking about all the technical stuff because there's plenty of videos over YouTube talking about numbers and spec sheets. It's not the thing that I love the most. If you want to shoot pictures like that, now we have also the tiltable screen that it's very nice. I use I used on the Q3, I never had on the SL system, so it's a nice thing to have. Well, I don't know if you can. Maybe I got, yes. <laughs> so this is the end of this video uh, about the SL3. It's not the most ultimate test uh, that you will find on, uh, on YouTube, but um, it's something that is related to real, the, the real world. I think that, uh, that it's fast enough to use it on the street. The quality is amazing. And I wish for a 28 millimeter, uh, a compact one, uh, half of the size of this, maybe more. Uh, because with that focal length and with that depth of the lens it would be amazing and I think that I could dump the Leica Q3 with that kind of lens. So I wish that Leica or some uh, other um, manufacturers can make it. If you like this video and all the other videos that we made on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you like this video, please uh, uh, click on the like button. And if there are some questions about the SL3, we would lo uh, love to answer them uh, in the comment section. So until the next one, later.